Hello, and welcome to another Face Break Show. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, oh, I just smashed, <laughs> slammed. I'm so sorry, Mike. I just slammed the mic. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was pretty loud. You also slammed your vocal cords by the sound of it. Yeah, fuck it. They're fine. Uh, with me, as always, Emily, my beautiful uh, soon-to-be bride. And uh, Gavin, sort of my life partner. And uh, if things had worked out a little differently, maybe my bride. Uh, the time. <laughs> we have a special one today, and I apologize for how scatterbrained we're going to be, but we have so much to get through. Uh, first off, first and foremost, we're selling shit today. That's right. Today is the day that the... Oh, no. It's broken. Let me fix it. Figure out how to make money on this. I really want to. I got a screwdriver. Oh, no. you got a knife. Here, you need to fix it. The face break uh, show uh, nacho helmet. We're selling these puppies on the, uh, they go on sale at 4.10 p.m. today. If you ever wanted to have a nacho helmet to put your nachos in, that's what it looks like. If you've ever eaten nachos outside of a helmet, you know what I'm talking about. It's not the same as nachos inside a helmet. They taste better. It's something about the plastic, the chemicals, mm -hmm. the way it mixes with the refried beans and the cheese. Ice cream and popcorn. Oh, that's good. You fixed it. That was the only mm -hmm. one I had. It was making too much noise. The only one of those I had left. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's okay. No big deal. Uh, anyway, so in about 10 minutes or so, if you want to buy a nacho helmet, it doesn't come or with the nachos. Or, or a popcorn helmet. Or an ice cream helmet. Or what we decided earlier, we're going to we're gonna try. And it could be a, just a regular helmet. It could be a regular helmet with a flat. <laughs> like, if you've got a particularly flat head and you've never been able to find a helmet that fits you better, there you go. It's for flat heads. Uh, it can be a dirt helmet. We also have decided that you could drink sodas out of it, but we don't know how many sodas it holds, so we're gonna. Oh, should I hold how it? How many? Do you, how many do you think it holds? Five. Five. Okay. I said. I said five. Okay, and I'm gonna take the over. You're gonna take the over. Yeah. All right. So we're one oh, wow. in. So this is important. If you were thinking about buying a should nacho helmet, but you were on the fence about how many sodas it can hold. Three-way pour. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's our uh, powers combining. This is so European of us. Look at us. Crossing right, that's street. Four. Gonna do four. Oh my god. Uh oh. Wait, so we're at Don't four? tell Meg. All right, there we go. We gotta let it settle. Gotta let it settle. Let's see where we're at. We need those straws like we're at the like. Um, oh, too bad we don't have the, the Gerpler straws. Mm. When do those uh, go on sale? So that's four. We're pretty close to full. This will be five. I think it's gonna be exactly five. Don't nah. do it. No, no, no. I gotta drink There's that. There's still drink. more. No, 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 dude. We're at. You have so much room over here. We're at capacity. Oh, oh. God. Don't overfill it. This is our only fuck face mat. Don't overfill it. Does it look like it's gonna overfill? Yeah, well, we'll see. No way. Where's that All right. Merch? You could put so seven it, in there. It holds. It's a. It, not only is it a nacho helmet, not only is it an ice cream helmet, not only is it a popcorn helmet, it's a six pack holder. Now, it that's, could be a dog bowl. Well, that's my separate one. God <laughs> damn. So, here, I'm gonna go ahead and see. <laughs> oh, yeah, it tastes it. really good. It tastes even better. Does it? it? Tastes even better out of a helmet. It's something about the way the plastic mixes with the chemicals. So I'm... a Gerpler holds three. This holds five. I'm wondering if the shape of this allows for rimless entry. Oh. Do you think it's like, better to drink out of this side? Well, I think maybe just drink straight from the middle. Like a dog? Lap it? Well, I don't know why you would turn it that way, because now it's... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dip your too. beard in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll get your beard in it a little bit, but you want uh, some dirt? To... Uh, it's fucking great. Yeah, maybe maybe, okay. maybe try sipping off the off the back rim. All right, yeah. I'll try the front rim. I'll try to rim it. Oh, give it a rim job. Oh, <laughs> oh, my oh God. God. Why does it look so wrong? You can see the flavor so bubbles. That's how you know it tastes good. That's which, so much soda. Which uh, way's better? This way's better. Okay. With the. Uh, oh can, my God. Can we see okay, turn to the side so you can see. Oh, yeah, there it is. What sort of angle? <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. That's good soda. Okay, let's put that over here for a minute. That's yeah. a good bowl. That's a great bowl. Oh, be careful with the... Don't get it in the dirt. It also holds bean hole dirt. Take a look at this. That's what we're working on. Should we talk about that for a second? Okay. Yeah. So uh, in about five minutes, you can buy that hat. I would recommend you do. We have, uh, I think, a thousand of them because you guys are like, you never buy enough. You never. So we made a thousand of those fucking <laughs> things. So congratulations on the thousand of you that are gonna get, get gonna get to get that. Do you want to try a nacho? No. In addition, <sighs> I had one earlier. In addition, you can also yeah. buy the. Uh, Ian drops acid <laughs> holiday shirts. Yeah, go on a real trip. Yeah, go on a real trip. Uh, Ian seeing all the colors. 
Also, there's a Spicy. there's a Gerpler beanie. Did you know we made a Gerpler beanie? No. I didn't either. You can be <laughs> your own Gerpler. I love it. You, you, your head is the Gerpler. Is that just a standard single size, though? Okay. Okay. So, what Gavin's <laughs> referring to is, we're not going to open any cards today. We're just going to talk. Uh, what Gavin's referring to is, there is an episode of, of Face coming up, not next week, but the week after, I believe. Maybe it's next week? It's next week. I think this week is buttholes. This week is buttholes, so it's next week. Gavin invents a product. Gavin and Tony invent a product that is maybe, we're going to change the world. We're going to change the world. <laughs> Uh, and it's gonna happen in two weeks. I'm very excited about it. It has to do with buttholes? Well, no, next no. week is buttholes, the week after that is head holes. Head holes. We, we invent a hat that is going to <laughs> revolutionize hats. It does, is Andrew's face painted on it or printed <laughs> on it? <laughs> it's so good, it doesn't need to be. That's how good the hat is. Oh, God. Uh, but while I'm showing shit, let me show some other stuff. Do you know we have little Let's Play hats? That's cute. Oh, that rules. Well, that is cool, right? You can have that if you want. That's and uh, it goes with these cute little Let's Play embroidered shirts we have. Oh, I like the embroidery. If you That's ever nice. thought to yourself, man, I used to love Let's Play and then I didn't anymore and now I do again, you can get this shirt. You could be like that guy that you talked to on customer service today. <sighs> oh, you got a customer service store? <laughs> I talked to, I had, a, I had a long day of customer service, multiple times. <laughs> anyway, this cool Let's Play shirt. Gavin, I'm not done. Here, you can have can that I too. Can I wear that too? He's just you getting started. All of my shirts because are Achievement Hunter. not only do we have uh, those cool new Let's Play shirts and the bean, uh, not the bean hole hat, the uh, nacho hat, although it could be a bean hole hat, although it probably You could put beans in it. What uh, if we scanned the inside of the bean hole and reconstructed it as a hat? I think that's a great idea. That is a great idea. Like, make a mold and then, yeah. And on the top would be uh, rocks and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> we also have, Gavin, not only do we have the uh, e Holiday Ian Drops Acid and the Gerpler Beanie, we also have... Oh my God. <laughs> Jeff and Gavin and Eric at Sloppy Joe's. Have you seen this shirt? Can you believe it? It's almost it's like you're at our a... bachelor bachelorette party. You are, if you wear this shirt, you can basically, you can say you were there. Look at us all wearing the wristbands for our hotel Look room. Look who's still wearing it. <laughs> I'm still wearing my hotel oh, room. He it's promised so he'd faded. take it off for the wedding, at least. He showers in it. <laughs> I didn't say I would take it off for the wedding. I said I would wear it on my ankle. For oh, wedding. God. And it was said, okay, you can have this too, yeah. Thank as you. long so as we, I don't see it in the tux, I'm fine. We have all that shit for sale today in about two minutes. However, the big thing we're doing today, while I'm opening cards, you guys, you've got your tools ready, you're very yeah. excited, we're gonna be filling bean hole pins with bean hole dirt. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Why don't you zoom in right here and look at this thing. Isn't this beautiful? Oh look at that, authentic <laughs> that bean hole bean dirt footage. souvenir pin from the backyard of Jeff Ramsey, Austin, Texas. That's me right there oh, digging. Remember that time when only you dug the hole? <laughs> there wasn't enough room for everybody. Oh, but you dug the hole for one second. You had to film it. Put me filming on it then. <laughs> That's on the back. This, you is, you the this is you filling it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the, the bean hole pin. This is not on sale today. This doesn't go on sale until December uh, 5th, because Gracie gave, gave me a note. Uh, but we are going to be filling it with the dirt today. Now, Tony did a cool thing today, Gavin, that you're not aware of. We got all that bean hole dirt. We, we got buckets and buckets of dirt. We use the jackhammer. We'll yeah. talk about it on the Face podcast. We had a whole adventure. We we captured the dirt, but the dirt was a little wet, right? It's moist, ground's so, moist, it's been raining. So next week, butthole, the week after that, head hole, the week after that, bean hole. Bean hole, yeah, the week after that, bean hole. So uh, Tony started filling these pins today and they got a little condensate -y, you know, like when you screw it in, because yeah. there's moisture. So he took all the bean hole dirt home and he cooked it in his oven. <laughs> So his house smells real dirty. What did he That's preheat? the real MVP right there. What did he preheat to? I don't know. I didn't <laughs> ask him what temperature. But so just rest assured, if you buy bean hole dirt, for, or if you buy the bean hole dirt pen, it's going to have cooked dirt in it. That's probably better for all the foreign bacteria that we're probably not going to ship now. Right. It's better for all the foreign bacteria that we're not going to ship because it all killed it. We're also, listen. Really appreciate how everybody understands it, 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 how sh how international shipping works, but we are not going to be selling these bean hole pins internationally because so many comment leavers decided to get online and go like, "Did you know it's a big deal?" And so instead of asking for forgiveness, now we we just can't do it. Can do it. only for yeah, America, American made, so, American uh, only. We can <laughs> only American ship dirt. the bean hole 
pins to America. So it'll be <laughs> geo-locked. If you're outside of the States, I'm really sorry. But you can I really wanted to send you my dirt, but uh, <laughs> a bunch sell? of people online decided to talk about how illegal it is, and so now we can't do it. I mean, what if we just sell, sell BYOD pens? Bring your own dirt? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we thought about that. Dirt. <laughs> we talked about that with, Jordan and I talked about that today earlier, about maybe we just sell whole uh, dirtless pins and then you insert <laughs> your own dirt, but that just kind of kills the whole point of it. <laughs> but that's only for people outside of America. Yeah, people you in America, can't buy it if you're in America. If in America, you have to buy our dirt. You have to buy our dirt. And you're getting, I'll tell you, you're not just getting this dirt. You're getting a lot of hard work. Yeah. Gavin and I and Eric, we swung a lot of pickaxes. <laughs> We, we dug a lot of holes. We used the, sure. I think everybody used the jackhammer at some point. And then this dirt went to Tony's house. It got baked in Tony's oven. And then it came back where it got filled lovingly by you two. Working on we're it. We're going to be working. We're going to be filling those bean hole pins. We also discovered today that, uh, do you have one of the? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. it's on there. We also discovered today that uh, one cool thing is this pin case. We didn't realize it, right? Perfect size for a card. So all the ones that we fill today, we're gonna throw in cards from the collection. So mm -hmm. I don't remember what this card Maybe is, some. Pete Yukovich. Some of these are just some of our fun ones that we've just opened, ones, like things ones. like this one is Chili Davis, but I think I already had a Chili Davis in my collection. Right, his name is Food. So now someone else gets a name as Food, and maybe you'll also get the uh, Jack Black from Anchorman. There you go. And maybe. So if Some you, oh, get, yeah, uh, we have a couple of these uh, highly sought ah, after. You can buy the merch now. Oh, Jesus. the merch is available. You can buy it now. Get it now. Uh, so, like, we have some Gurpler cards, too. Uh, and we don't have the gold ones, but we have purple this one is and so green cool. and oh, red. thank you. That's my first one. And so, one. if you get a beanhole pin and it's got a card on the back of it, you'll know it was filled by either Gavin or Emily on, I on the show. I just or right things. off. Um, okay, so the hats are now on sale. Hats are on sale. Uh, if, it's, if only if you're watching live. Remember, they don't come with the nachos. You have to include your own nachos. 1995. Uh, but you should also consider. BYON. You can make a popcorn. You can make an ice cream. I, I would consider popcorn. I think that'd be a great popcorn receptacle. Okay. Also, we know it holds a six pack. So if you want to drink your sodas or your beers right out of oh. the hat, we know, that's, <laughs> we know that's safe. Instead of doing like the Edward 40 hands, you just do like the six pack head. You know, that's the, <laughs> the only has. time, I think the only time I've ever touched Gavin's dick. Was, was that Edward Forty Hand situation where I? Well, we, how else am I gonna get it we back? We Forty Handed pants. him, and then he had to pee, so then I had to help him. I had to touch his little wiener. How was it? It was okay. Did you like, I don't think you is, touched the the physical wiener. I told you I didn't. But is I'm that over it. influencing <laughs> any of your uh, current writing that you're doing? <laughs> that hasn't. I don't know if it's coming. I don't know anything about it, but. Has that come out? The uh, Yeah, I think so. Listen to Clutch My well, Pearls, the podcast about oh smut, where my friends tell me all about the dirty little books that they're reading and that Jeff's super jealous of because he wants to be all bad boy. I am so a bad boy. He's a bad boy. I'm he's been a bad boy. boy around that. He's a mean boy. I'm going to eat. The other night, Emily asked me for water. Everyone podcasts are found. Thank you. She was in bed, and she was like, can I have some water to take my medicine with? And I was like. Because <laughs> I'm not mentally well. Because I was also in bed. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll get up to get your water so for that you medicines. forgot for your medicine so that, so that, I'm so that a you don't person. have to get up. Right. <laughs> so I went, and you know what I did? I microwaved the water to make it hot. And then I gave it to her. And she's like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, evil boy. He's a bad I'm like boy. A, I'm like a bad boy in those books you watch. <laughs> Luke, Luke, Luke medicine what? Are told about. Bring me warm water because that's what bad boys do. It's enemies to lovers. So we have to be enemies first. The other day she was taking a shower. I filled a glass full of, I filled a gurpler full of cold water. And I walked in and I just threw it on her in the shower. <laughs> yeah, that's what evil care. boys do. I'm an evil dirty boy. I don't care. <laughs> I drink. I drink. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. There's pubes in it. That's not pubes. That's. Is it from you? No, how oh. it, that's a, that's pube. Did you pube Tony. the? Did you pube the dirt? That is where you go pee Tony, sometimes you, after a bike ride. Did you pube the dirt, Tony? Tony did mention something about jacking off into the bowls. So <laughs> I said there right. would be no cum in these. <laughs> he did say that. Uh, let's open up some cards while you guys are doing that. Here's the pack sack. Everybody loves a pack sack. I can't believe we're 15 minutes into the show. We haven't opened up any cards yet. That's on me. Uh, I'm just excited about the helmet. I'm gonna, we're going to open up the, whatever the fuck that is. I'm excited about the pens that we can't sell. And uh, we can sell them. Pen. We just can't sell them outside of America. And we're going to open up these three. <laughs> oh, Christ. See. That's a real uh, Desert Storm card. Thank you. All right. Let's see what's in the bullshit Desert Storm cards. We were have. you in Desert Storm? I was not. I, was, I just missed it, actually. But was, isn't Kuwait's not Desert Storm? Well, Desert Storm was at war. I don't know. I was in Kuwait. That, what was the name of your Desert war? Storm was in 1990. I wasn't. I didn't serve during my war. But you were in Kuwait doing, and they were in Panama. Panama was like something different, but like. I was in Kuwait uh, uh, a lot. I oh, was this there for, person's getting the Giamatti. Yeah, I was. 
three years, three times I went to Kuwait, but it was after the Gulf War. Gulf War. Okay. Yeah, which was Desert Storm. Okay. Uh, which was this Fly and I F eighteen uh, paratrooper in flight. Thank you. Army supply Dude, ship. You're really good at this. Dude. Airborne unit. <laughs> this little funnel, by the way, S phenomenal. CH-53 uh, Super Stallion. Oh, that's a fat helicopter. That's cool. That's a good little funnel. Uh, machine gunner. <laughs> You're not supposed to be downrange of a fucking weapon pointed at you. That's ridiculous. So EA-6B Prowler and Marine Firefighters. I oh, that's bet. Cool. I bet they got a lot of these images from art journalists. I was about to ask. I bet like, if my people probably was. made these. Is that your little banner that they have? No, you were, you this is the 8th Field Artillery. I was 1st Cavalry Division. But you never rode a horse. First team. Good. Yeah, I did. You rode a horse? In the Army? Yeah. Really? A couple times. And you're like Army outfit and everything? Well, yeah, to take pictures of other dudes riding horses. But were you in camo or were you in like a yeah, uniform? Yeah, camouflage. Yeah. That's cool. Were the horses in camo? No, they were, uh, they were nudie pooty. <laughs> Whenever the subject of cooking comes up, your name is always mentioned. What the fuck am I opening? Gruesome greeting cards. Okay. Oh, so it's like everyone is a like sarcastic greeting? Yeah, I think so. It's hard to open. Are these ones that we're going to be able to even show, or do we yeah, need we to proofread them first? Uh, because your cooking always comes up. Uh, okay. I'm going to put some of these in people's pens. Uh, your eyes are like perfect blue oceans. Your hair is like spun gold. Your skin is like fine china. I feel like a watchmaker. Like a little Swiss watchmaker? Yeah. And if you Swiss. only had more than one tooth in your mouth, I might ask you out. Oh, goodness. Uh -huh. Oh, that's rude. What is it, the anti-dentite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love your eyes and face and hair and lips as sweet as honey. More than these, my darling bride. Oh, this could be what I could say to you at the wedding. Oh, perfect, that's your vows. Uh, and then on the inside, and then on the inside, I'll say? say, I love your family's money. <laughs> Okay. That'd be cool if you both had to like find your vows out in the world. Would, should we just do AI for our vows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just put that in there, like make something that goes with loving the family's money. Oh God, these are stuck. So far, only one pube. That's good. Yep. That well, little hat's working so well for your little- These are so broke. All right, I can't even open these. They're so uh, cute. Let's see, Tony went to a yard sale over the weekend and he bought a bunch of weird cards. Let's see what he got. Uh, he gave them to me. How about American Bandstand featuring Dick Clark, gold foil autograph. Oh, that's Special cool. offer, see back, eight premium collector cards. So okay. American Bandstand, that was... Dick Clark. Yeah, but I didn't really know him from like Rockin' New Year's Eve. Yeah. And then, but he did... Which was an offshoot of American Bandstand. But that was at every night? Was it like Soul Train? Yeah, okay. I think so. I don't know if it was every night. I think it was like once a week. Okay. Um, uh, Lou Rawls? Uh, American Bandstand, 10th anniversary. There's Dick Clark right there. Melissa Manchester. Ooh, Gloria Gaynor. Frankie Valley. Oh, what The I... man himself, Dick Clark. Hey. What's like a good Gloria Gaynor song? Uh, didn't she do like, what a feeling? She did one of the songs. Gloria Gaynor had been dubbed the queen of soul and dance for her international hits, such as Never Can Say Goodbye, Reach Out, I'll Be There, I am what I am and I will survive. Oh, I will survive. She was afraid at first. Cool in the gang. I Will Survive might be the most sampled song in history. I wonder what the most sampled song in history is and if it's that. It's everywhere. Emily, he also had these in here and I thought, uh, <gasps> I have to open, oh. These are cool, I'll open up these boys? first. Here's Bo. Photo cards by John Derrick plus poster inside. Here's Bo, okay. What the fuck that means. Do you think if you planted this dirt, oh, anything would come up? Probably. How big of a, how much oh, of a? It came with a poster. Problem with me. <gasps> oh, oh, that's cool. It's a picture of Bo Derek uh, <gasps> in the NASA. From jacket. Tommy Boy? And, yeah, that's all she's known for. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Uh, now shit. Movie 10 brings international fame. Is that when she had the braids? Uh, that was Bolero that she had the braids, I think. Uh, to the rescue, or was it in 10 as well? It might have been in 10. Uh, Bo was an excellent windsurfer. Bo's husband, John Derrick. Now, so, I believe, I could be wrong about this, so don't sue me, <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty sure Bo Derrick and John Derrick got married when she was like 
16 or It was one of those things that like was not okay, but everybody turned a blind eye to in the 70s, but now is like people recognize as uh, Problem. seriously problematic yeah. and illegal. But yeah, I think she was with him when she was like still in school. Yeah. Like they were, yeah. That's uh, a yikes. That's a big yike. Resting after a jog on the beach. So the name was, the show the was cheese. Here's Bo. Was it like her reality show? Was like, or was no, I think it was just, Bo? she was so popular that they made trading cards for all the movies that she was in. And probably, be, they probably were sanctioned by John Derrick because after they became a couple, I, I want to say she only made movies for him. Oh. Like it, she was like a promising up and coming actress and then they fell in love and the, he started making her movies and then he, they started making independent films. I wanna say some people didn't wanna work with him anymore because it was weird that he was married to a child bride. Mm. And so they started to make independent movies at, which were quite successful I believe. Uh, but anyway, I think that they only worked together for a long time and that's why, so these are probably just all the movies that he made with her. Speaking of the braids, there they are. Oh yeah. Do you think that was a Derek Derek? Derek Derek? I think they're definitely Probably their son. Oh, I hope he's not dead. Oh. Ooh, the monkeys are sad. You want to throw a yeah. Derek in there? I do. All right, those are cool. And now here's the ones that I knew you'd be excited about. Me? Branson on stage. <gasps> oh my God, I love it. I I want to go, I grew up going to Silver Dollar City and I'm going to take Jeff there someday, but yeah. he's scared and uh, I love it. It is a, uh, it's the Nashville with very strong Christian undertones. <laughs> And a lot of families. More family friendly Nashville. A lot of families where there's a lot of children, a lot of long denim skirts, a lot of long hair that's just kind of yeah. uh, modestly of, pinned up. A lot of gigging. A lot of a, uh, a lot of just the family band. Speaking of the family band, oh. how about the Low Sisters? Yeah, there we go. The they may be Low Sisters, but they have high hair. Yeah, the best ride at Silver Dollar City is Fire in the Hole. Mark Jones. Yeah. He probably wrote it. Here's the Moffat Brothers. Yeah. Oh. Everybody loves the Foggy River Boys. Moffat Brothers <laughs> sounds familiar. The old Foggy River Boys. <laughs> There's Michael Rogers. That's a lot of, uh, here we go. Oh, Dick Curlis. Oh, okay, that's gotta go in a card. Yeah. I gotta take that. Thank you. That's, Someone's getting that pirate. in their pen. Oh, shit. What? Mike Gavin. <gasps> oh. oh my God, look at the mullet. On you? On him. On him. Dude, you should that go as is. Mike Gavin some some year. Do we have a mullet pile? Name, not name. We should. Oh, everybody remembers Furlan Husky. Oh, yeah. Old Furlan. <laughs> Good old Furlan. Hey, the Osmond brothers. Is it like the Donny Osmonds? Like the other Osmonds? Like without uh, Like the, the Jacksons? Sister? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, and then the Brash Brashler music show. Oh, those guys look like fun. Look at that Hell guy. yeah. He's a blast. All right, well, that was the uh, Branson <laughs> on stage cards. Also has this thing, United States of Alf. Oh. Five super stickers for a series, like all 50 states. We should put those Zoom. in the cards because it's for American only. Oh, that's true. Made by a British person, though. <laughs> Let's see what we have. US of Alf, I want you to collect all 50 states. That's my Alf impression. <laughs> I can't even send Kentucky, that to my people. Land of the Pioneers. You could if they're cool. Visit. Like, Pennsylvania. Like, don't open it. See New <laughs> Hampshire. If they open it, then it's like chemical warfare. Georgia. Or bio the warfare. <laughs> All right, there we go. Like, what about when we go to, you know, Key West or whatever, and they're like, here's some sand to take home in your little seashells. Yeah, but we're taking it from Key West to Austin. Did you take no, some people, sand from Key West? No, but you know, you're in the gift shops where they'll Just be like, oh, dude, be cool. Um, where they'll have like a little. <laughs> Thing and it's like seashells and shit in there and you're like, oh. But if you do that outside of America, dude, we can't even take, they don't even let you take shit in and out of Hawaii from That's America. True. Like they, they take that shit seriously, unfortunately. I mean, and I appreciate it. I know there's a reason I don't need to be Top educated finest. on it, but it's just like, you know, right, I just want everyone to play. Open in some real cards now. These are uh, Top's Finest OTE, Overtime extra, uh, uh, Cards. Rob Dillingham, oh, we got an autograph. Bryson Tiller. Wait, Dillingham? Yeah. Do we have a, oh. a dill-based name collection? We should have a dill-based name collection. Let's put it in the dill pile. The pickles? The, the, the dill pile. There's T. Smith. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, here, do you want to put this uh, in the dilling Are the dill these? Pile? Start, start a dill pile. <laughs> here's a, a dill here's another dill card. There's two. Uh, are they two seems... different dills or the same dill? Are they brother dills? What is... It's the same card flipped. Whoa. Dude, double dill? Double, double dill. dill. Are, is Hell this... yeah. That's not the this. same person. They're holding the basketball different. It's the same person. It's just different pose. Is it Robin Bob Dill? What? No, it's Rob Dill and Rob oh. Dill. 
There you go. He sleep Dude, all these. Actors. What a treat for a double dill to be the, the beginning of our dill pile. Double dill. So these are college. It's a great kids? way to. Yeah, or uh, OT overtime elite. I think it's like a. Would a like Webin Yama be in here? That's probably why I bought them. Oh. So I thought it would be. Uh, Bowman Chrome basketball. These are uh, <clears throat> these are more Wimby potentials. We're like twenty five minutes into this now, and uh, these pens are going to take a really long time. Yeah. Oscar Sweeby. Be here all night. <laughs> Judah Mints. We are going to be uh, here for the break show. Mints are food. Maybe we could work on them on that. We'll not still the break be here show. for the break show. I'm sorry, the um, Extra Life. Oh, Leah Boston. And uh, we're not going to be here next week or the week after. Yeah, so if you are around this weekend, tune into Extra Life. I think Saturday at 8.30 p.m. to about 11, we're going to be doing a special break show. 8.30 to 10, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to do a special break show, and we're just going to try to empty the, the pack sack. Pop the pop, pop the sack. We're gonna try to empty the pack sack, and we're also gonna shred some Pokemon cards or something, or or preserve them. Uh, so hopefully, you, and, and it'll all be for charity. So hopefully, you'll you'll come hang out, and uh, and if you are so inclined, donate some money to to sick kids. Uh, but also next week we will not be doing the break show. I apologize, but uh, everybody's gonna have off because of extra life. Everybody yeah. needs a break. And then the next week we won't be here because it's Thanksgiving, and we'll They're be here in America. Kids. Yeah. Uh, land so of sorry soil. about that. The okay. land, the land of beanhole dirt. <laughs> but you are getting two break shows this week, technically, if you tune in Saturday night. Uh, Femi Odakale. Do you know what's uh, Frank crazy Joan right Collins? now? What? That? This Katie helmet Johnson. full of soda is still bubbling. Yeah, that means it's still good. Do you, Ooh, which, do you think you could drink that Collins. whole head of? You don't drink soda. No. Do you think it give you a tummy ache? I think yeah. I think my gut would pop. Well. Do you think you could drink it without burping? No. No, we've already won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, top Series 2. Let's see what's in this. Leroy Garcia, Dane Dunning, Framber Valdez, Jordan Walker, Luis Ortiz, Josh Bell, Bryce Johnson, rookie. We got ourselves an Andres Jimenez, Luis Castillo. Ooh, got the Steve Carlton <laughs> Aces card. Look at that. That's cool. That's nice. I like that. So does that mean there's a whole deck of cards? Jeff McNeil, just aces for pitchers. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Ronnie Enriquez, uh, Nolan Arenado, Jace Peterson. Then we we'll might as well open up some Tops update. Mm. I kind of like he was talking to God a little bit. Oh. Just that last guy. You know what I think we should talk? Oh, yeah. It's be, it's talking, to, talking to the big man upstairs. Oh, yeah. You want to see? Please, 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 please. 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 I want to win. Yeah. For God's sake, can you hit the ball? Please. David Peralta, Jose Siri, James Caprillion, Kinsley Jansen, or Kinley Jansen. He he played for the Dodgers. Uh, Nick Martinez, Adley Rutschman. We'll sleeve that. That's nice. Ooh, we have a Randy Rosarina Major League Material Relic card. Ooh, who's he? Randy Rosarina. He was Rookie of the Year two years ago, three years ago. Nice. Place for the Devil Rays? Uh, like I'm sorry, that. just the Rays now. I like that jersey that that guy underneath. Raiden is Bistro. Is that like Miami or something? Under here, sorry. Uh, that's uh, San Diego. I'm going to my eyeballs in beanhole dirt. Stuart Fairchild and, <laughs> and sleeving. Jason DeLay. How many pens we got? A lot. 1,000? 2,000, I think. No, how many have we done there? Oh, man. Four I don't. Five. Now I have to count? Uh. <laughs> Got the 1994 <laughs> Top Stadium Club baseball. I've never opened these in my life. Let's see what. I want to see our 30 minute pace. Okay, one, to do two, advanced calculations. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, Christ. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Chuck 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh. 29. So probably okay, so 30 we're about and 30. 48 an hour. Tom or Bonnie yeah. rookie. But I'm. Also, Craig Wait, that's not the worst maths ever. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just want to know? Uh, that's yeah. like 60, that's one a minute. Y yeah, we're fucking well, crushing it. Kill. But there's two of you doing it, right? So, so how, how many uh, hours is a thousand Richie minutes? Richie Lewis. Uh, how many hours Carlos is Carlos Cantana. Is it 30 minutes? What? <laughs> I have so many different things <laughs> happening, and this is we chaos do, over here. Oh. Andy a thousand Ashby. divided by 60, right? MLB a day. thousand divided by sixty. What's that? How many that? times does six go into a hundred? How many times does sixty go into a hundred? Once. Okay. John Peterson. <laughs> and then some extras left over. Yeah, there you go. You're good. Gene Harris. So you got to figure it out. She so can do six of these an hour. Six pins an hour. Is that where we're at? What? Six pins every thousand minutes. 
I think I could do more. I think, nice. I think if I like Mackie had sensor. not like a lot happening at once, you know, I've got like this guy's getting Joe Carter, uh -oh. uh, jo John Franco, and a Gerpel. Oh, another pube. It's a bit thin. That's probably not a pube, that one. 1992 clear eyebrow. baseball. It could be like animal hair. Oh, oh, maybe one of our dead dogs. <gasps> oh, no. That could be a you could have a piece we of Henry's. We didn't dig anywhere near that, did Dead we? Henry. No, Henry's not buried. Henry oh, okay. is cremated, and he's in a little box in my closet, because that's okay. where he would hang out whenever I wasn't home. That's much yeah. better than yeah. potentially in the dead. Yeah, we room. didn't dig them up. But we do have, like, possums in the backyard and bunnies. Buried? Lloyd McClendon. I mean, Ooh, Bo Jackson. maybe on their that's natural. Pretty. We'll save that. Ted Power, John Orton, Mike Boddicker, Ruben what, what Sierra. Was, what's 17? Sean Hilligas. We sold, we've only sold 17 of those fucking... Are you serious? No. <laughs> I can't remember them. The Does nobody show. want the hat? I love it's the hat. It's girl math. 17. One per minute, 16 hours, 40 minutes. Where oh, 17 hours. Andres Galarraga, the big cat. Tom Glavin, league leader. Wayne Kirby, prospects. Mark Leiter. Frank Viola. I hope the person getting Paul this... Paul Gibson. Penn. Likes Kevin Elster, Georgia, and Mike Gavin. Oh, this one's getting Georgia and Mike Gavin. Chris Holmes. All right, you know what I've been thinking about with these collections we're doing, like mm -hmm. sub guys and stuff. I think whenever we get like a full sleeve, like nine cards, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to what to do about them. I think we should give them away. I think we should just throw them into random orders. Okay. So like, I, I don't know when we'll get there, but like every once in a while when we fill one, I'll just have them throw it in and like, oh, I bought a T-shirt and then I got the yeah. The fuck, guys that look like accountants. Or I whatever. feel like that stuff does well when Andy it's Maldonado, things that Bob we Locke, are Bober, actually touching. Bob Ojeda. So what's something Andy else Brantley, that we can... Tony Fernandez, Kent Herbeck, Carlton Fisk. Man, it's weird to open these cards specifically. These, I have such an intense memory of opening these as a kid. Jimmy Key, Kirby Puckett, George that's Brett, name, MVP, Kirby Puckett. Those are some, those glasses, I need that. <laughs> that's, coming, that's going in a pen. Ron Darling, Andre Dawson, and Rick Mahler. Uh, yeah, that's cool. This little thing on the end is for phones, huh? Oh, is it? Yeah. It looks phone, like it. So you can poking. even use it as a little stylus on your iPad. I, I like this green Christmas shirt. You wear, you look really nice in it. <laughs> Let's open up some... Uh, my, my addition was the snowflake. Alan and Ginter. The, I love up the Apple. little tab. On his tongue. Oh, Gavin, I have something special that I've been holding on to for a long time to open up while you're here. <gasps> I've opened up a little bit of it, but not a lot. We'll open it up next. After we open up some Alan and Ginter. Oh, shit, we have a... We're still looking for the Josh Falcon. Josh Bell. These are... And a Ripper. 2023, these are new ones. Uh, Jorge Mateo, Wade Boggs. Oh, that's a name that you've said. Zach Wheeler, <laughs> Blake Snell. That's a name I recognize. Look at this. I've never pulled this parallel in my life. Tony Gwynn. <laughs> I'm not sure what the parallel is called. I'll have to look it up, but look at that. Isn't that nice? They never have like shimmers. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I've never seen one of these in person. That's cool. Uh, let's leave that, please. Just... This is the sleeve pile. Oh, look! We got a loot! <gasps> oh, Music yeah. to our ears. We can add it to the collection. What? And then, ooh, we got the Taj Mahal. Oh, that's cool. Dang. So, like that. Have you ever been to the Taj Mahal? Have I? I've never been yeah. to India. Gavin, you've been to India. Have you ever been to the Taj Mahal? No, didn't go there. But We're... you've been to India? Went to India. What's We're... it like? Oh, it was cool. It was really? hot. We're watching it Amazing was... Race, and they were there right now. The roads Turner? are crazy. Francis really? Like, they just, like, go in all different directions? Yeah, it's where Jay Balvin. it feels like at all times. Justin Verlander. Cool. Ryan Mountcastle. Jorge Posada. Uh, Alejandro Kirk. And then uh, Pujol. Okay, that's cool. Put Pujol? There. Lots of dry cities there as well. Dry cities? Yes, yeah, no booze. Oh. Oh, that's what you mean by dry. Yeah. It's like a religious thing? Yeah. That's cool. Ooh, let's open up 12 Americana Historic Trading Cards. Let's see what's up with that. Do you guys remember... Work in a factory. Yeah. Supreme Court Justice David Souter? No. Wait, we got a oh, that's, it, do we have a, a great hairline pile? Ooh, we the should we do now. Yeah. Uh, the challenger. Oh, um, that went well. That's sad. Al Capone. Hi. Oh, Speaking of judges, Sandra Day O'Connor. She does the. If you ever get called for a jury duty, the video that they show you, which is based like a DVD of where Are it's like know? jury duty. <laughs> it's her hosting Crossing it. I'm like, Delaware. what year is uh, this from? Do you guys remember when we crossed the Delaware? 
Fuck your country. <laughs> <laughs> We're Everybody's like, favorite yeah. Samuel Gompers. Oh, Gompers. Oh, that's a good name. The old Gomp. He's a labor leader. Hey, that's Bill like Bradley. Us. No, we need him. He, now he does American Voices with Bill Bradley. Uh, what? David, he does like uh, like human interest like radio shows now. Like uh, I don't that's know, cool. kind of like what Dan Rather does now. Dave Farragut. Uh, Rutherford B. Hayes. Oh, Charles Lindbergh. Wasn't he secretly a Nazi? Didn't he secretly? lose his baby? Yeah, I think they found it, though. I think that but went out well. I don't think well. they found it okay, right? No, it, no. It, it, what do you mean, lost his baby? The Lindbergh baby. Was it taken from him? Or, <laughs> yeah, right? he got kidnapped, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Andrew Jackson. Wasn't he, like, uh, wasn't Andrew Jackson a piece Lindbergh? of shit? Yeah. Lin yeah, of course. But wasn't Lindbergh, like, a Nazi? Pro I, I think probably, he was, like, a, a really... Oh, <laughs> yes, <Thank> God. <laughs> okay. Your yep. Nazi confirmation voice. Adam, I have for you. I've only opened up a few of these. Oh, a jackass thing? Official jackass. Cards. Last time we opened these, the view count when we showed the Godzilla dick went down dramatically. We lost 300 viewers. <laughs> what do you mean? There was a picture of Pontius's Godzilla dick, and, and everyone just, left. People tuned out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, was everyone watching it work? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh oh. Or they just don't like Pontius. I want a Steve-O. We're gonna open up all three of these though. Let's see what we get. Because I, I think we should have an autograph card in here. Potentially. Oh, that's exciting. And I've been waiting. I've had these I've had these cards for like two years. <laughs> just waiting to open them with you. The bed of nails. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's in India. Uh here we have behind the lens. I don't remember that specific moment. Ooh, the cup test pogo. <laughs> oh, a, that one was so bad. I yeah. can't believe you didn't lose a bollock. God. Here's a numbered number nine to a hundred. Hi, I'm Tyler, the creator. There you <laughs> Dr. Go. Rolls, we gotta just like Sleep that. that. <laughs> 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 what? This is the fucking card I've ever seen. Whoa. Flight of the Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great still. <laughs> you gotta put that in one of the bean hole pens. Somebody deserves that. We should, I feel I, like that's a great one because you can tell that that was like <laughs> the exact image Knoxville had uh, in his brain and then he fulfilled it. <laughs> this one's gonna be the best. I get the Icarus, the Gurpler, and then the Alf wanting you. God damn, here's the helicopter. I don't even, oh. oh. There's more Pontius dick. Oh, let's see. <laughs> put it like that. <laughs> oh, here, put one of the little pens over it. There you go. That's not, is that even his dick? <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> uh, here we have behind the behind the lens, there's a... Uh, oh, Dave? Dave England sitting on a toilet. Oh, uh, wasn't that when He's he, He's a like, prolific shitter. Tried to poop at the garage sale or something? Ooh, uh, this fucking gross to me, Anaconda ball pit, blue uh, oh, yeah. refractor, I guess, or prism. Uh, here we have a numbered high, I'm Sean Cliver, 40 of 100, he's a legend. Huh. I'll be honest, I don't know who he is. Is he a skateboarder? Uh, longtime skateboard artist. Oh. Oh, he's one of the original uh, Big Brother magazine staff members. Though. Okay, so he's oh, one wow. of these guys back in the old days. And then slimed by the Pontosaurus. Ugh. Oh, that was uh, part of where the... That was... That's more, where the dick... More dick. Did. Yeah, a lot of dick. Ooh, people, are, people are so scared of dicks. Uh, pin the tail on the donkey. I mean, you gotta be in the mood to see one. That's true. They are gross. Behind the lens. Oh. Jackass 2 movie poster. <laughs> Hi, I'm Poopies. There's a Poopies Didn't that card. rocket just Poopies rookie card explode on the stand? Yes, I think so. <laughs> uh, I don't think it ever like, went that high. Almost did it? like blue. Musical yeah. chair bags. That, that was, was awesome. A, that was a funny skit too. So that's that's it. Oh, that's that was the rest of our Wee Man flew over the back and landed on the. That's everything from the Jackass cards. I think that oh, there's man. one more pack in the pack. There was no Stevo in there. Maybe that's what's in the pack sack that we'll find out at Extra Life this weekend. Yeah, maybe. That is true. We will probably open that up in this weekend. Uh, you know what? I should add some packs to the pack sack just to be fair. I'll put these in. And then uh, what else we got here? Well, you know what? We were talking about this last week about the difference between a hobby box and a first off the line box. So maybe we should <gasps> open up some of these new flux cards. Let's open up the first off the line box. What do you. Um... Is this a good, this Daryl Strawberry card's good, huh? No. Nah. No, okay, someone wants. I mean, he's a good player, but it's not worth anything. Okay. It's a great card to give somebody. Okay. So this, first off the line box, Kevin. Yeah. The difference between these, these are both hobby boxes, so you gotta go to a hobby store to buy these, right? This one, like 250 bucks. This one costs 350 bucks. 
purely because it's the first off the line and it has oh, different stick. one additional parallel in it. Uh, so you basically pay an extra hundred dollars to hopefully get one better. Holy shit! Buck. Yeah. And is that what most people go for, or most people on the cheaper buck? Uh, most people don't get first off the line. It's it's pretty expensive. But let's see. Aya Desamo, Cameron Payne. These just came out. Oh, well there you go. No, that's not bad. I got a Walker Kessler auto for Ooh. my first. Out of my first pack. That's a second year card, probably, not a rookie. Rudy Gobert. He's getting COVID to everyone, right? Yeah, he's the one. He was patient zero in the NBA. And then Luca Flow Motion. That's cool. We've got some more of these bad boys. Flow Motion. He plays with Kyrie now. Is right? he in the Flow Motion? And guys? Grant Williams. Oh, is he? Is he? He's a Flow Mo guy, yeah. Aaron Neesmith, bitter about being traded from the Celtics. Uh, really? Isaac Okoro. Jalen Williams, rookie. I can't remember if that's Jay Will or Jay Dub. They both have the same name. Moses Moody. That looks like a prism. It is. Oh my God, there's two under here. Oh, Triumph. Jalen Brown uh, insert. That's cool. Love that. Celtics. Cool thing about the Celtics, Boston Celtics, if you're paying attention, is that they're going to win the NBA championship this year. Yeah. It's pretty much already given. You call, you called it. You were the first one to say it. You called it like at tip off of their first game. Yeah. You said they're going to win. Zach Levine. What do you think the chances are Zach Levine still plays for the Bulls by the end of the year? I'd, I'd say 50-50. Uh, ooh, Jason Tatum. He's good. He plays for the Celtics that are going to win the championship. Yeah, he's about the future. Uh, this season is going to be this one is champion. Is this last time they won 16? That was when they won, when they'd only won 16. How many do they have now? 17. That's before the uh, KG. Wow, oh, that's uh, why he's Paul on Pierce. Here. Anthony Davis prism. That's nice. Benedict Matherin rookie. That's pretty, the Titan rookie. <laughs> I'm just throwing him there. <laughs> How many, are there still helmets left? Do we know? Uh, I think if that there are, thousand, they would have told us. I think we'll have helmets left for the next month. Yeah, don't forget to buy a nacho helmet. And an ice cream helmet and a popcorn helmet. Yeah, I'm look, there it is the right dirt. there. A dirt you helmet. You can use it for nachos, or if, you, if you're really clever and innovative and forward thinking, you can fill it with soda. It holds a six pack. Oh, drink from and it. And if you're thirsty. Yum. <laughs> That's so, much That's so refreshing. ASMR. Not making a dent in that. Oh, I think if you drink like sweet coats. Oh shit. Oh my I god. Stop. What you do that for? Oh, Oops. God. It is, a, it is easy to spill. <laughs> That's terrible. The dirt. My dirt. <laughs> Uh, Ben Simmons. <laughs> he doesn't He's feel He's the punchline. Uh, Jordan Poole, he's also the punchline. Derek White, Boston Celtic, thank you. <laughs> uh, Terrence Mann, some sort of a, I guess that's just a prism, yeah. And then John, John Morant, fluid. What was John Morant saying? Oh, he... Guns, his thing's yeah. guns, yeah. That's why, has Memphis still not won? Uh, they won their first game last <gasps> night. They did? I told you, oh, I told you story. they were gonna win the second pitch, uh, Portland game and they did. Oh, good. Marcus Mark. Also, in that game, uh, I'm heartbroken to say Rob Williams went out with a knee injury. He plays oh, for Portland now. That's his deal, huh? Yeah, and I don't know how bad it is, but he had to go to the locker room, so I, hopefully he's okay because I hate to see Rob Williams injured. Yeah. Cade Cunningham, Jimmy Butler, Mark Williams, rookie. Ooh, Julian Champagny, rookie. Paolo Bancaro, second year card. What would be the best hit you could get off of this? Well, one of one Paolo Bancaro rookie card. Oh, really? So yeah. he's good. What's his deal? I haven't heard about him. Uh, he's the rookie of the year last year oh. for the Orlando Magic. Oh. He's good. Playing well this year so far. Spencer Dinwiddie, Jose Alvarado, Kenyon Martin, Max Christie, rookie, silver pearl, rookie influx is Jalen Duran. Yeah. Um, or like, you know, any kind of one of one Steph Curry would be nice. LeBron. Oh, okay. Those are always going to be worth a dick load. What's the most wanted card right now? Like, that, like if you were to look on, like, everyone is, I don't know, there's like Mike Trout was a big deal for a long time. Uh, yeah, like, what's the hottest card right now? Yeah. I could tell you. Oh my god, we didn't do our last week's. Oh, we didn't. Oh my god, we didn't even do it. But go through your stuff first, sorry. Yeah, uh, we'll look them up. We'll, that's a good call, thank you for that. Uh, Najee Marshall, DFS, uh, Christian Coloco rookie. These are such pretty cards. Uh, Andrew Nemhard rookie, and then uh, Jeremy Sohan. Nice. Or Sohan, Sohan. I've heard it pronounced both ways. He's actually playing quite well this year, I think. 
I've got to be real careful because I keep grabbing my screws from my screw cup and putting my fingers in my cappuccino. <laughs> oh, you have the Just same. No idea. <laughs> the Anthony Melton, Josh Richardson, Kevin Herter, Jalen Smith, Prism, Paolo Bancaro, rookie. We any high legs today? Not so far. What we're hoping for is whatever this fucking... I need to find what my first off the line uh, parallel is, or insert is, because I haven't seen it yet. Buddy Heald, Sadiq Bay, Jeremy Sohan, rookie. Sohan. What if it's a parallel dill? That'd be mm. fucking amazing. A triple dill? Triple dill, parallel Damian dill. Lillard, Keegan Murray. These guys are this pretty. Is last pack. I like how they're like blue. So if I don't yellow. see it in here, then... I'll have to go back. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, Drew Holiday. Uh, Celtic now, but that's not a Celtic card. Robert Williams. Hey. Oh, speak of the devil. Not Silver a Celtic. Silver parallel, not, not, unfortunately. Uh, Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards, Triumph card. That's pretty cool. Jonathan Kuminga, and then the first off the line, Flux <gasps> parallel, seven, number seven of 17. <laughs> Luka Doncic. That's going to be uh, probably a $100 card. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's number to 17. That might be a that might be $150 oh my to $200 God, that's card. Oh, so many. We'll and, this one's empty. Oh, I did an empty one? <laughs> we'll go ahead and shit. I'll just go ahead and take care of sleeving this bad boy. I'm yeah. sorry. I've got, I've got dirt. That one's frustrating. So there you go. That's what, you, that like, that's what you pay an extra money for, the chance to get a hit like this, which is a pretty fucking big hit, honestly. Yeah. So uh, if you're going to get a non-rookie card, you can't get much better than uh, LeBron or Curry or Luka. So that was like, all the extra value in one card. Yeah. Do you think that he'll be like a like in the Hall of Fame? Luka? Level? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then... But he's an all-star, right? Luka? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all, all NBA. But that... So do card values go up when they go into the Hall of Fame? Yes. Okay. Yes. So who's going to the when Hall they of Fame win a title, year? when they go into the Hall of Fame, all that kind of stuff. Is anyone? Go, is it every year certain people go in, or is it every night? Yeah, every. I think every year they have Hall of Fame inductees, or or at least they have the ser like the opportunity. Is that what Kevin Garnett did, or did he just hang his jersey? Yeah, Kevin Garnett's jersey got hung. He was retired by the Celtics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's not Hall of Fame. That's just he will be a Hall of Famer, I'm sure. Kevin Garnett's one of the greatest power forwards of all time. He changed basketball. Uh. Let's see. I w oh, I was going to open up something else to show Gaver. See if Golden I can find him. I don't have any Golden Eye, but I do have. It's been a pretty denseless day so far. I do have this. Bob Ross, The Joy of oh. Baseball. We opened up some of these last week, and I got a really nice King Griffey Jr. parallel. Didn't he used to be a drill sergeant? King Griffey Jr.? No. <laughs> Bob Ross. Yeah. He was right there. Yeah. He's stationed in Alaska, I think, and that's why when he fell in love with nature. Interesting. I want to say, yeah. So how long did he serve in the military? I, he might have retired from the military. He was definitely in for a while. Wow. So we got a Nolan Gorman rookie. Ooh. Now these, you know what, because I need to pull up last week's cards so I can show the thing. I had one of these. I can't find any of these for comps. Uh, I, was trying to, I was trying to price out last week's one of these in the package, and I can't find this card anywhere, so I don't know what they're <laughs> worth. Dude, you're getting really good at this. You're, you're, you're a little dirty boy. Joey Bart. Okay, up my average. <laughs> oh, and there, there's the Nolan Gorman regular card, so you can see the, the easel card is different in some way, but I don't know oh. how to. Oh, because it has an easel on it. Yeah, but I can't find any record of them uh, being sold on eBay yet. Miguel Cabrera, Juan Soto. Ooh, number to 75, or number 64, 75, Bo Bichette. That's the numbered parallel for this. That's from Star nice. Wars? Yeah, Boba Shet from uh, Star Wars. Hank Aaron, that's cool. Francisco Lindor, Anthony Volpe rookie, Ryan Mountcastle, Vaughn Grisham rookie, Oswaldo Pereza rookie, and then Mark Vientos rookie. Those are still continue to be such nice cards. They're also very hard to find, very hard to get. And that's all that came in them? It's just it's like seven? Yeah, and I have, I have one more box in there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, let's find last week's so we can run down uh, the Whoops. values. I complete, thanks for reminding me about that, Emily. I completely forgot. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that is disgusting. Uh, I think we'll go to... Yeah, it starts here. Okay. 
So, if you watched the show last week, you know these were the hits that we had. I went ahead and priced them out. I will show you what they are now worth. Let us see. Uh, where's my card volume, card values? Okay, first one, Mookie Betts SSP. Remember, it's the holiday card. He's got the uh, Christmas lights around his neck. Yeah. That is worth $5. Oh, nice. Uh, James Altman rookie parallel, the gray parallel, that is worth $4. Nice. Uh, Brett Beatty uh, relic card, that is worth $3. $3? $3. And it's a whole piece of his jersey? It's a whole piece of his jersey. Here's one of those uh, easels. Easel cards, I have no idea. Couldn't find it. Okay. Um, uh, Miguel Vargas rookie is five dollars. Okay. This Ken Griffey Jr. number to fifty that I got last week is about sixty bucks. Wow, yeah, that's yeah, the one of the about five sixty bucks. Ones, huh? Is yeah. that Griffey Jr. stuff pretty? Yes. Valuable. Yeah. He uh, he's like kind of like the like you know LeBron James, right? Yeah. He's like the LeBron James of baseball in terms of just like recognition, evergreen. Like everybody loves him. One of the greatest baseball players. One of the most popular baseball players. One of the most beloved of all time. Uh, I don't know why this Oral Hershiser in a PSA nine. I couldn't find a ten. Run you about eighteen bucks. Wow. This Nolan Ryan, uh, forty dollars. That's pretty good. This Nolan Ryan five thousand K's card in perfect condition. Run you fifty. Wow. These are all things we just got from Gus's. These are Gus's. Yeah. These Bo Jacksons are about sixty-five bucks each. Dang. And then uh, somebody mentioned this Kirby Puckett error card that might be worth a lot of money. It is the error card. It's got his wrong birth date on the back. Oh. It says his birthday is March 14th, 1961, but he was actually born in 1960. Uh, I looked him up. They're not worth anything. Uh -huh. People are selling them for like $1,500 on eBay, but there are, people are buying them for $1. On is eBay. Kirby Puckett, is he still alive and everything? I believe he's still alive. I yeah. assume that after people die, they get their stuff goes up in value. It tends to. Um, Kirby Puckett is a good baseball player, but he's not a. Is he an all-star or was, like a uh, Hall of Famer? He was. Uh, he was absolutely. Uh, I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame or not. But um, and then I want to do a little show and tell. Oh. For my personal stuff. Uh -huh. So I was very excited to get this card in my own WNBA cards. I got a Brittany Griner silver parallel. Nice. I thought that was really nice. I was very excited about that. I like Brittany Griner. Uh -huh. And then I just did a So All Right episode about the first high five. Oh, so Talk good. about Dusty Baker. <laughs> and the other member of the first high five, who was also the first gay baseball player, or the first baseball player to come out as gay, Glenn Burke. Oh, I bought his rookie card. That story this was so good. 1977, I want to say. 1976. Yeah, this is this is a 78 card, I believe. But yeah, he was a rookie in 77. So was that was when he was playing with the Dodgers. Bessie? That was the year he hit the home run. It would have been 77. <gasps> oh, so that that's his card from the home run. From that year. Yeah. Or the year, the first high five year. Yeah, he hit a home oh. run that game. So if he was half the high five, why does he never get the? Why does he never get remembered? Well, well Dusty Baker went on to become a Hall of Fame player, and he coached for 26 years, and stayed on the present. And Glenn Burke was gay. Yeah, but what's more famous? Dusty or the, or the high five? I think most people that I've told, like that the high five was recently invented, nobody believes. Yeah, nobody accepts that, that it, didn't exist. it was invented. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody yeah. just uh, refuses to believe that. Like the handshake was invented. Right. Uh, what <laughs> else should we handshake? open up? It just seems so normal, but if, if I like walked over to you and just grabbed your kneecap as if it was normal, it'd be so right. weird. But that, that, there is a world where that could have been the norm. Yeah. Oops. Or maybe it's like how the the players will do like the jump and like hit their hips together, you know? Yeah. That since, had to be a first. Since Gavin's here, let's open up some of these historical edition. Ooh. Oh man. Comics. And while we're doing this USA pen stuff. <laughs> and this USA pen stuff. Uh. I'm All sorry. right. Let's see. What we got Geronimo, Satchel, Page. Willie Sims, gold parallel. Right. Ooh, Carl Benz. It's horse racing season. Is Carl Benz? Uh, the Benz? The car 19, In 1885, Benz built the world's first automobile powered by practical internal combustion. Is it Mercedes Benz? Carl Benz. Yeah, but do you think that he's the Benz of Mercedes Benz? Carl Benz. <laughs> but he's the Benz of the Mercedes Benz. I don't know, because his name Benz. is Carl, not Mercedes. But, but he is partnered with Mercedes Benz. Oh. He was friends with Terry Jeep. Aaron Burr. <laughs> Alexander he, Graham Bell. Ooh, the John, phone guy? The phone guy. John L. Sullivan. And then another. The pants guy? Hey, we got two satchel pages if nice. anybody wants to trade. I'm going to put those with the pens because it's USA only. USA all the way. Ooh, we got an Obama. Uh, 
Why don't you put that in? I will. Somebody get a, Absolutely. Get a Obama. Uh, Eisenhower, Aaron Burr. Wait, Ooh. isn't there, um, wasn't it Aaron Burr? Oh no, who was it that he shot? Didn't they shoot each other? Hamilton, Hamilton. Oh, okay. not Eisenhower, Hamilton and Burr. When they did, remember that commercial with the peanut butter? We'll see if we get a Hamilton. And then a gold foil or a gold refractor Babe Ruth. That's pretty cool. Let's do that. Last pack of our American history cards. Someone said the handshake was a warrior wrist grab initially in the chat. Yeah, it's not a handshake, that's a warrior wrist it's grab. A, a, totally a, a warrior wrist grab. <laughs> <laughs> a warrior wrist grab. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm lazy my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to you somewhere in the process of being on camera. No, I think it's just like the, I'm, I've Louis got Louis a lot whatever. happening. Leonardo da Vinci. In life or right now? Right now, Aaron I've Grant. got pens and I've got Aaron, like a then and I think I'm ahead and then there's some over here. Over and then I got stuff over here. I've got Tyler the Creator just looking at me with a cigarette. I feel like you gave yourself now. too many responsibilities here. Classic. Because uh, as a part of the conveyor belt, it kind of fell apart. But you're doing all the important work. Let's do this. Let's open up some Goodwin champions. So, Emily, you love Allen & Ginter, right? I do. Because they have weird stuff, non-sports stuff. They have stuff that I like, but they don't have you in there yet, which is upsetting. Right, we're all upset that I'm not in it. Uh, <laughs> Goodwin champions is Upper Deck's version of Allen & Ginter. Oh. Let's see what kind anything? of weird stuff they have. I think so, yeah. Do you think we have a better shot of getting you into a Goodwin champion? Yeah, but who wants to be Goodwin champions? That's true. Oh, I mean, shit. Take it. See who we got here. Ooh, Tiger Woods. I've heard of him. Uh, Carlos Cole Moneras. He plays baseball. They don't have the right to Sahithi Gala. Oh, here we have Brie Baker. She's a chef. Sahithi Gala again. Her name is her job. I wonder if that's why she became a chef. Is she from Top Chef? Let's see. Why didn't, why didn't you get into hats? Um, she's from Dallas, Texas. Because I have a whole field of them. Why would I get into them? Since her appearance on MasterChef in 2019, she's built her Plating Queen brand into a successful business located in Dallas. I am into hats. I'm into this fuckface hat that's available now in the store. That's an Eaton hat. That's an Eaton hat, and that's the kind of hat that I'm into. I think you should grow Ooh, whoa, a she... field of hats somehow. <sighs> Gabby Butler, she was on that show we watched. Remember, Cheer? Oh, yeah. Oh, cheerleader. Yeah, she's one of the cheer. Her mom was kind of popular. Mojave King. Oh, we got the big dog, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. And Carlos Colmenares. Nice. Let's see what else we Do you, do you think it would be, if I were to build, have a field of hats, wouldn't that be like leather? Like, so I'd have cows. Tiger Woods? Yeah, pre hats. Or Ryan. isn't there like a flower called like a like a Whitney? Turkish hat or something? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could do what that. What the fuck did I just get? <laughs> I don't know. Goodwin Champions number two elephant. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> elephant. What's elephant? Is that a? What's it say on the back? Nothing. Oh. This is Goodwin Champions. What? Just elephant? I uh, yeah. I don't know. Weird. Should I go to someone? No. No. You want to keep it? Paid Spiranak. Woo you. Hello. What the? I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Tune in, not next week, not, but the, or the next week time after. we do it, and I'll tell you what it, what it's worth. See us after Darius American Garland, Thanksgiving. Great basketball player, Molly McGrath. She's a media personality. Uh, Joanna Jedrez Jez Jezrezik. You got it. MMA. Uh, Chloe Kim, snowboarder. By Bayron Laura, baseball player. Is Thanksgiving the shittiest holiday? Oh, it's almost over. Yeah. We're supposed to end. Yeah. Nobody told me. Well, I mean, I thought you were, I didn't know. Oh, Woj. I got uh, a lot happening over golf. here. We only have one uh, minute. Here we got a, oh, a Gaddy Michael, J Michael Jordan basketball card. That's probably worth some money. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> uh, it's getting close. Jonathan Kuminga, Sarah Winter. I got this silver pack. Let's see what's in the silver pack. We were even going to open, oh, we didn't even open our jersey. We we're going to open an NBA jersey. <gasps> oh, uh, shit. Isaiah Todd, uh, Ansu Fati, uh, Mike Mancias, Joanna, uh, Alan Iverson card. That's cool. And Maybe during extra life, we can open something. And, and then we're going to open up this. We got our very own, we got an NBA. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Name an NBA. Who's, whose jersey do you think we got? Uh, the Dillmeister. I think we got Steph Curry. Uh, we got... Open it up! <laughs> it's a Ziploc. Someone signed it right there, that's hard to tell. Oh, shit. What is it, Phil? Oh, you love Philadelphia. 
Doesn't play for Philadelphia anymore, but he did wear number one, James Woo! Harden. There we go, very young James Harden jersey, wow. He doesn't want to play anywhere. He, he wants to play for the Clippers. But that's a good one to have because he doesn't like this team at all. Like, he fuck himself. He wanted to. He did fuck face himself, and he thought he was going to retire there. So there you go. We're going to end it on a James Harden uh, authentic <laughs> autographed Phillies jersey. That's fucking cool. The ultimate fuck face jersey. Wow. He wanted so desperately to go there, and then now he's so upset that he can't leave there. We got a little piece of the beard. <laughs> Look at us. We'll hang it up back here. Yeah, we Maybe will. Maybe that's Gavin's next outfit. Hey, thanks, oh, for, yeah. uh, thanks for hanging out with us for another hour of your life. We really okay. appreciate it. It's and uh, if you get a chance, go buy a nacho helmet. Or an ice cream They're helmet. delicious. Or a or soda a helmet. helmet. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll drink some soda on the way out. I'll be here for 16 more hours. We're going to, we got to girl math this. Oh, my God, there's dirt everywhere. <laughs> ah, Mainly in the There's pen. so many. Bye. Check, 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 check. Get it. You got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you turd. <laughs>